What's going on everybody? It's Coach Kev, AKA Purpose Driven, coming back to you guys again today, January 13th on a Monday, starting the week off strong. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, I wanted to come to you guys today with a, uh, a quick message. Um, so I have the Bible app on my phone and right now I am going through a seven day devotional. So one of, a, one of the plans on the Bible app, I am going through it right now. So I read something today this morning and I wanna kind of read it out loud and go over it real quick and just talk about how it applies to my life. Uh, the devotion I'm reading is called Take Hold of the Faith You Long For. So it's a seven day um, devotional plan. Um, pretty much talking about faith. And let me just read a passage. It's not gonna be too long, just a passage from me I wanna talk about. It is, Fear not is a continuous thread weaving a tapestry of truth throughout the scriptures. Why is that? God knew we would struggle with it. But I don't wanna die with gas still in the tank. I want to live bold for God to use me until I am all used up. To do that, I must put the fear of failure, embarrassment, humiliation, or intimidation aside and take a step of faith. So for me, for me and I assume for many, a lot of other people, uh, fear of failure, fear of, embar failure of embarrassment, all those things are very negative thoughts that stop us from becoming what we are supposed to become. For me personally, the fear of maybe not get wanting, not getting the response that I would want, or even just the fear of putting myself out, not knowing how a situation may go, is something big and something I'm trying to change in my life. Um, today, I personally did something, kind of step out of my comfort zone to do something, not knowing how the individual would respond to my action, but I just did it because I feel like anytime you put yourself in a situation where your heart's beating a little faster, or where you're getting a little anxious or a little nervousness, if you want to call it, is a good thing. And I feel like a lot of people don't like that feeling and don't want to put themselves in that feeling. So for you to step outside your comfort zone and put yourself into that feeling, whatever situation it may be, gives you a step ahead of a lot of people. Um, a big saying is being comfortable, being comfortable, being uncomfortable, which is something that I try to live by on a daily basis. And I try to push through that feeling of fear. And even more so than pushing through the feeling of fear, I try to embrace the feeling of fear, knowing that a lot of people wouldn't be able to even stand the feeling and be able to deal with it. So not even worrying about what the outcome may be, depending on what the situation is or what situation I'm going through, just being able to put myself out there and just knowing in my heart that I was able to get out my comfort zone and live with the outcome, whether good or bad, is a step, um, a step ahead of a lot of people and it's a place that I wanna get comfortable in. I wanna be able to do that all the time on a daily basis. So again, I'm working on it each and every day, just trying to become a better version of myself. So this fear, like it's something that you're gonna always go through in life. You're always gonna have times of fear, anxiousness, whatever you wanna call it. But I feel like the more that we just find the strength to step outside the comfort zone and to fight that fear and just do what we have set in our heart, the feeling in our gut, whatever you wanna call it, in our soul, our instincts, and just go out there and not worry about the repercussions, the more, the closer we'll become to being the best version of ourselves. So that's the message I wanted to give you guys today. Um, hopefully you guys got a little something from it. Um, again, follow me on Instagram, coach underscore Kev B. That's coach Kev B. Like, comment, subscribe. Purpose Driven is my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to, trying to grow this channel this year, just trying to bring out messages and become a better person. Um, like I always say at the end of these videos, these recordings, you gotta wake up in the morning and before you, before you go to sleep at night, always ask yourself, what's your purpose? Peace.